Hello everyone and hope you are doing fine. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can disable one script or enable one script from another script. So let's start. For that purpose we will create two scripts. So uh, select a C sharp script and name it first and then select the second C sharp script and name it second. Now that we have uh, created these two scripts we will create two different empty game objects duplicated name the first one script manager one and name the second one script manager two okay uh, connect the first script to the first one and the second script to the second one now let's start coding open the first and second script okay clean the update functions from both and now we have to write a loop that I trade uh, five times And it just show a message in console lab and it says this is the first script okay now I just copy these three lines inside the start function and go to save the script go to the second script and inside the start function paste the codes and then just change the first to second and then save it again let's go back to unity and okay uh, since they are attached already save your scene and play the game okay go to console and you can see that the second uh, script uh, first uh, like show the message this is the second script and then the first one uh, so let's say that you want uh, the first one to show first and you don't know during your game if the first script will work first and then the second one so uh, let's say that you want some of your script to work in the end of your like game so for that reason we will we have to disable this manager not the script but the manager so you should not disable this one you have to disable it from here we will disable the second script manager and we will just keep the first script manager and then we will go to our code and then we will create a public game object type variable we will name it manager and then we'll say when you finish the first sorry not this script remove it go to the first one and here write public game object and manager and then come to your start function exactly after when the loop finishes outside the loop write manager dot set activate active sorry set, set active and here you have to write you want to activate or not if it is true it means it has to activate if it is false it should deactivate so save your script go back to unity clean clear this console and uh, then uh, okay uh, in, come to your script manager one and you can see this manager public variable here we have to connect the, the manager and we will drag this disabled uh, like script to here we just drag and drop it here and then uh, save your scene and then uh, play the game come to your console now you can see the first script message shows first and then the second script message shows 
and if you come to the script manager tool you can see that this is enabled if you stop it you can see this is disabled hope you understand how to activate and deactivate your deactivate your scripts thanks for watching bye